Good morning, everyone. Hey, how is everybody doing? Today's a regular keto carnivore day, and I have a little recipe that I've been dying to try. In my head, I've been doing it. Haven't had the original form in a very long time, so come on, you guys. Let's get started. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I am dressed for success because I am going to Tai Chi today. Yes, I am. You guys, this is a little top I got on Timu for three bucks. Yeah, just a $3 little top, right? I like having a little top on over my clothes when I do Tai Chi because you're doing a lot of movements and stuff and I don't want my my flabbiness to show. No, I do not. Anyway, you guys, today is a keto carnivore day and an 18 hour fast. Now it's very interesting, you guys. I don't want to be too optimistic. I'm gonna say this, I probably need to knock on wood. Since Harry and I have changed up our protocol, we've started to lose weight. Yes, we have, we both have. You know, and I'm weighing myself every day to begin with, and then I'm gonna loosen up and get into the once a week thing. But I wanna share with everybody that we are losing weight. We lost a little bit of weight last night, which is really nice because Harry is still taking meds mm -hmm. for his back, you know, for the pain, but he is doing so much better. He truly is, and he's gonna go with me tomorrow and do the pre-core workout machine, which is a stretching machine. It shows you all kinds of positions this seat. Maybe I'll take a picture of it when we go, but I have a picture of it that you can put that's empty, Harry, that I sent from the gym if you want to. It's up to you. Anyway, you guys, I went down four tenths of a pound. Harry went down two tenths of a pound. So we're slowly, the scale is finally slowly my mouth's not working right, but the scale is because we're going down. Yes, we are. Now, I know that it is not going to be a linear down the ski no, slope. Never is. It's going to be up, down, up, down, up, no. down, up, down. But as long as we are going in the right direction, which is down the slope, I am super happy well, about it. You go, can I say something? Yes, I was here. Turn over I here. Was, I, was expecting, I was expecting you to actually go up today. Really? Because you went down six pounds over that course of time. Yeah. So I was expecting you to go up a little bit because the body tends to rebound. Right, and I agree with you, and it does. And it, it levels is, out. Yeah, so it's kind of weird to me. Usually after you have a whoosh, you go up a little bit and can stay there one or two days and uh -huh. then drop again, and he's right, especially with my body. But he's absolutely right on that. But you guys, our meals yesterday, for the food that we ate and three meals, it was delicious, it was healthy, it was nutritious. We felt good. My intestines, my bowels are normal, thank you very much. And I feel great. We had both had a really good sleep. Harry actually slept how many hours for eight, the first time? Eight hours, and a little over he, eight hours. He slept a little over eight hours and I don't know how many months because yeah. he usually is about five to six hours because of his back. So. We are feeling really, really good on this. That doesn't mean things are going to change, but I just want to let everybody know how well we are doing thus far on the high protein, low fat, ketogenic diet. Yes, indeed. So I need to get ready to go. I'm ready to go. I need to go to Tai Chi. When I come back, we will... Um, have lunch, but right now I made a blueberry keto chow. I added exactly 12 grams of fat to my keto chow, which is the minimum amount you need to absorb all of the um, fat soluble vitamins in it. You do the amount you need to do for your body you know, and it's how much fat you want to eat with your shakes. 
to get your calories in. So I just wanted to share that because Keto Chow, I think has maybe they put in one gram or they it says one gram uh, on the package and I can't remember and I don't have a blueberry pie one to look at because it's up in my containers. But I just wanted to share with you, I'm drinking this now so that I have some protein in my system so I can go work out when we come home. We're gonna break our fat, well, Harry's gonna break his fast with a nice meal. Now, I don't know if Harry's gonna want what I'm gonna make for me. Which is? I'm not gonna tell you. You're gonna have to come back and see. So, I brought out some bison just in case you want a, a hamburger egg bowl or bison egg bowl in this in this. Well, I can tell you right now that sounds good to me. I knew it would. So we'll see what he eats and it's going to be a super easy fix if that's what he wants. So after I show him and share with him what I'm going to make. So you guys come back in this next segment after I am done with Tai Chi. Yes, indeed. Before we go, I forgot this came, and of course, look. Do you think well, that's been shipped. thrown around, well, yeah, <laughs> thrown around in a truck I mean, somewhere? Anything yes, I do, but I'm very excited. Yes, I am, because it's my carnivore shipment. Did you get anything I like? We always get what you want, and that's the pork loin. You love that. Yes, I do. You got two pork loins. Oh, good for me. You got... We got some beef ribeye. Good, I like that too. Yes, you do. We got some um, chicken breast. Yeah, I love that. Yes, we do. That's, my, that's what I take to the movies. The movies. These are movies. My movie stuff. It's movie time. This is a carnivore crisp. Oh, that's really good too. Beef bre I mean beef breast. Sorry. Yes. Beef. Why, I what is wrong with my tongue today? I can read, can't you? No, but my mouth is not working correctly. Uh -oh. Carnivore crisps. That can mean something. Yes, I need to be quiet. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to save these. Free range chicken oh, skins. yes. That's my all-time favorite. Yeah, but we got to save these. We can't have them right now. So, because they're too... I know. Now, this... Okay, I know what I'm making for sure now. When I come back. Yes, indeed has uh -oh. to do with, yeah, I'm very excited. That's why you opened it. And we've got bacon jerky, and we have got beef organ blend sour. Sally's gonna be happy. Yes, indeed That's she is. That's her favorite. Oh yeah. Huh. If you hold up a piece of bacon and one of those, she'll, she'll go, go for, for the organ blend. She really, really she, loves she loves carnivore that. dog. Yeah. She does. She really does. She knows which is what. She's staring at me over there. She heard the word. I know. God, we have Don't to say whisper. it anymore, okay? We have to whisper. So come in here and bark. Well, yeah. So you're not whispering. Yes, I am. I'm whispering, see? Don't mention the word carnivore dog. Oh, she just says come. it, right? No, because I'm That's whispering. a dog. She's got ears. <laughs> anyway. She can yes. hear everything you're saying yes, she, from she, the other room with the door closed. She can hear the bag rattle. Yeah, I know. That's what she knows. She knows, she the, knows the bag. If I'm in here and a bag rattles on the top shelf of the ones that are open, she comes. She comes, she comes walking in like going, hey, mom, what are you doing, mom? Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, see you guys in the next segment when I cook. Now I know exactly how I'm going to do it. You're gonna I hope it, it works, though. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, if you're guys. sure, I'm for sure going to have the... Oh, it's going to taste delicious, but the way I do it, I'm not... Sh I'll share. It'll be crazy experiment uh -huh. in the kitchen with Wendy time we'll see. when I come back. All right, we'll see. Hey everybody, I am back from uh, Tai Chi. It's after three. Harry ate some of the leftover pork and a slice of toast while I was gone, so that was his breakfast. I had my Keto Chow blueberry pie shake for breakfast, so now I'm gonna make our main meal. And I have got three cans of Wild Planet albacore tuna. And I drained them because they are quite wet even though the can says don't drain them I did so they're in here so I'm gonna uh, flake these with my fork because they're very packed in here if you want to come and look Harry first of all I'm gonna just break it all apart I 
I'm going to put my dry seasonings in and then I'm going to taste them. I don't want to over season these. I don't even smell anything. Do you smell it? No, because I rinsed them. You shouldn't fish, you shouldn't smell fishy fish. If they're, if they're, if they're, uh, good and healthy and um, packed correctly, it should not smell icky fishy. So I'm just kind of breaking them up right now just to get some of the seasonings in them. And I have Old Bay seasoning and I'm gonna use half teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of Old Bay Organic seasoned salt by Red's, Redmond's. I'm going to use half a teaspoon of granulated onion, half a teaspoon of garlic, and I'm going to shake some of my nutritional yeast in it. Then I'm going to taste it to see if it's seasoned enough before I add some dill pickle relish and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to use an egg wash and I'm going to use chicken breast flour and either roll them in balls or I'm going to make patties and put them in the air fryer. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So come on you guys, let's get started. You're going to make like big patties? Yes. That's what I was thinking about doing. I don't like that. Hmm. What's the matter? Well, it's, it's hard to... Get it out. Yeah, there you go. I love Old Bay, and you love Old Bay. Mm -hmm. So let's get this going, and then we'll taste test, because tuna's already cooked. I just want to make sure I've got enough seasoning um, for it. What's that? This is um, garlic. One. They're all half teaspoon. All of my seasonings, every single one of them is half a teaspoon. Now I'm just going to shake some nutritional yeast. This has all the vitamin B vitamins. It's got, it's got uh, potassium, iron, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, B3, B1, B9. I love it gives it a nutty kind of a cheesy flavor and since we're dairy free I'm just using it instead of Parmesan cheese because I would use Parmesan cheese so if you want to use Parmesan cheese instead of nutritional yeast feel free to do so now I'm just gonna put this all in here I'm gonna stir it up and then I'm gonna taste it to tell me if I have to add any more seasoning to this I'm just going to take a clean spoon here and taste some of my tuna. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna put in two eggs to hold it together. Well, I'm gonna put one in and see how I like the feel of it. I've got dill relish. I'm gonna put just a nice heaping, probably a tablespoon of dill relish in that. And I'm gonna put a teaspoon of raw and unfiltered organic apple cider vinegar, including the mother. I just shook it a little bit because I want to get some of the mother in here. And I'm just going to put in a teaspoon. Just adds a little bit of the acidity to that, to the tuna. Now I'm just going to see if this is going to be enough egg. No, it is not. So I'm going to add another egg. And I'm going to mix this up really good. I 
I preheated my air fryer a little bit because I want I don't want the crab the um, excuse me tuna cakes to um, stick in the pan. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the relish and the apple cider back in the fridge. You can put a little dab of Louisiana hot sauce in here, or you can put some chopped jalapenos in here. That would be awesome too. You can use chopped. Ooh, chopped jalapenos there would be good. Yeah, well I'm not doing that this time, but they would be good. Now, I've got a little bit left of my chicken breast flour in my old bag, and I just got a new one today. That's why I thought, hmm, I'm going to try to bread these on the outside. I'm just going to put the whole thing in and I'm going to put an egg in here and uh, I need another egg, excuse me. So I need it, I've got an egg wash going on here. I'm going to beat my little eggs. And now I'm going to put some gloves on. And I'm going to pull this out and get my assembly line going on, you guys. I did spray a little bit of uh, avocado oil in my pan, even though my pan is non-stick I don't want them to stick so basically what I'm going to do is just smash these up really good just make sure they're all mixed in I may have to make tuna balls out of them oh, you know hmm these are pretty dry I don't know if they're going to stick. I may have to use, well, there you go. Right? You could use three eggs. Well, I'm going to try this. Do it very carefully. Oops. Shoot. one thing I don't want to do is add pork rinds to this because like you can't have those right now right? I can't have them right now or you can't have them or I can't have them either is it like both of us can't have them yes because they're fat they have their 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 pork rinds are fried in fat Let me see if this does better without going into the egg wash. Nope. Does not do better going into the egg wash. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. We're just going to take the flour and mix it in as my... Oh, you think that'll work? Well, I don't have a, another recourse and I'm not going to use this egg. This egg can be used tomorrow because this is not cooperating with me. It's acting more like lump crab cake, you know? Mm -hmm. Actually, this did work. It's holding it to better, better, look. It's holding it, See. it's holding it together, but together oh, yeah, better. Check it out. Yeah. So, that's good to know. 
so I can use it for my breading. I could have grated one of my pieces of bread and used it, but actually that worked really nice. Wow, you guys, the chicken flour works really nice as the breading. It's actually holding together nicely. Yeah, it is. Wow, huge difference. You get extra protein that way. So how many think you're gonna get out of there? Um, like four? No, more like, f well, five. Huh, cool. Three for me, two for you. Two and a half for you, two and a half for me. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, well, I must I, call my madness. I, I, I know. I gotta call my madness on this, Wendy. Okay. Your yeah. madness. My madness. Ah. Oh. M a n n e s s. I thought you said madness. No. Oh, I, I'm sorry. We were talking madness, like you know, cuckoo. No. Cuckoo. No, no, Harry's no, cuckoo. No, no. no. Here, you want to come look at these? Sure. They look much better, and those look nice. Yep. There's so, my three. Excuse me. So we're getting them that way, you guys, but basically, and I would say that was about a cup that was left in the uh, so how many container eggs did you actually of use then? chicken breast. So you use that. Okay, I'm all screwed up now. Doesn't matter. I used three eggs I in my tuna. Eat it. Three eggs in my tuna, and I used my chicken breast flour as my breading inside the meat to hold it together, and it really worked. And it was about a, a cup that was left, I would say. So there we go. There you have it. I'm going to put these uh, in at 400 degrees and just get them browned and then flip them. I'm going to put them on 10 minutes. For 400? At 400, come back, flip them, and see how they do. But let me clean up my mess. So I didn't get to bread them on the outside like I wanted to, but it was because the tuna was quite dry, um, and I needed more eggs, and I needed some kind of like bread inside, like a panko, panko breading, panko crust, and the chicken flour from carnivore crisps was perfect. So you guys come back, and we'll do a taste test. You can make homemade cocktail sauce with ketchup and horseradish. You can have barbecue sauce with these. You can have mustard with these. Harry is having horseradish coops mustard. Yep. And I'm having some honey mustard uh, dressing for mine. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. But let's see what these look like. Ooh, wow. Oh, those turned out very nice. Are they cooked? Excuse me. Yes. Tuna is already cooked. I know. Cooked. But I and this just cooked. made them nice and hot and delicious. Look at that. Wow, those look really nice. I'll tell you what I want. I love tuna with sprouts. So I'm going to put my tuna patties on some sprouts. What do you like to eat? grass. I love sprouts. And a little bit of sprouts goes a long way. She used to chase me around the backyard when I was cutting the lawn with a bag. Oh, Harry. Ooh, don't say <laughs> feed bag. Ooh, don't you dare. I didn't say that. Don't you, said you that. dare. Oh, you said that. <laughs> Better be careful. I didn't think about it, actually. Uh -huh. That's a good one. Oh, look at this. On a bed of grass. On a delicious bed of grass is right. And we'll split one, but I want to get a pretty picture and share with everybody. And then I want you to come and taste test. You do? Yes, I do. You an awful lot. I do. So, tuna patties in the air fryer there's no fat added to this other than the uh, avocado oil spray. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to let Harry do a taste test, so come right back. Harry's been washing dishes, and I can tell because his t-shirt has water all over the front of it. Somebody's got to do some work around here. 
Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead and give it a taste test, please. Don't you want to put a little yeah, bit of mustard on? Yeah, I'm showing this off first. Mmm. Careful, they're hot. Mmm. Actually, that's well, really good. Okay, well, wait until you finish chewing. We're going to be here all day. Well, some people You guys don't. got all day? Mm hmm Good? Yeah, I like the old bay, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Can you I'm not a real tuna person, but this tastes really good. She put that old bay and stuff in there. And of course then I got some of this. This is uh Coops horseradish yeah, mustard. Horseradish sauce. So okay. that really works for me. It's a win win? Yeah. Okie doke. It's a repeater. Yep. Well, I'm amazed at how much the little bit of the uh carnivore chicken flour chicken breast flour, excuse me, how much this changed getting it together as a patty compared to when I did not have this in it. And I know when you have, you know, Parmesan cheese and you have um, panko from pork rinds or bread, it helps hold it together, but this really did the trick. Plus we get more protein that way. Yes, indeed. So just wanted to share that with everybody, but you guys know what that means. I've got to eat now. Yes, indeed. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Look inside here. See? Very nice. Very, very nice. Put a little bit of honey mustard. Grab some, what do you call this stuff? Grass. Grass. Some alfalfa sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are my favorite. Two leaf crawlers. Mm. One leaf clover. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Gotta go eat, guys. You guys, those tuna patties were delicious and they were great with alfalfa sprouts. Yes, I know. I'm crazy, but they were very, very good, weren't they, Harry? Yep. Like he even really liked them. Yep. Um, I think the little bit of vinegar, you can't taste it, but it helps take away any fishy taste that might be in there. You guys, tomorrow is a protein sparing modified fast high protein. Make protein your priority. Make it a low fat day. Keep your carbs under 10 grams, but you guys, I got out of my truck after going, coming to Tai Chi and I, two things I hate hitting on my body, my elbow and my ankle bone. And I hit my ankle bone dead on. Come here, mommy's, mommy's telling a story. Yeah, mommy's telling a story. I hate, I hit the inside of my left ankle bone so hard, I feel like I broke it. Harry has been babying me, putting ice on it. It's time for me to put ice on it again because it hurts. Man, does it hurt. Yeah, but I'm, gonna it have, well. I'm gonna have a bruise, but we got it like, I put Arnica gel on it. I have put ice on it and now it's time to ice it again. Sally just ate her dinner, didn't you? Yeah. Did you have your dinner? She yes, she did. I want more. No, you can't get down yet because we have to tell everybody if they haven't done so already. Make sure that you've liked, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Can you say good night? That's right, you can. You're lucky. We got more. We got more carnivore dog in our carnivore in our we were just about in our carnivore crisp order. Yes, we did. Because you're almost out, little one. On your mark, the ticket. Tara. Good night, everyone. I gotta go. Where's the ice? I gotta get that out, man. Oh. These things are great because you can literally wrap them around where it hurts. Yep. And that's what I'm doing. See you guys tomorrow.